Okay, negative voltage part two. So hear me out, I'm gonna do my best to try to explain this and why this is so crazy. Someone asked a question in the last video, basically getting at, okay, you're taking a measurement, right? And you're getting a positive voltage and then you're taking another measurement. What they were getting at is, wouldn't that be equivalent to basically just sw switching your leads around and then you're showing a negative voltage there? And yes, that's kind of one way to think about it because we're thinking about the flow in the opposite direction. But what's crazy about negative voltage in a DC circuit is that we're talking about it relative to our reference point. And so this green wire here is my reference. And so I have 13 positive volts here, but then if I go to this other terminal, I have negative 13 volts relative to my reference point. The thing is about my reference point, it's so not to some arbitrary reference point, it is to the earth, the earthing of my house. It is my literal ground circuit for my house. And that's what makes negative voltage such a crazy concept to me and why I'm so excited about it. So maybe you guys can be excited about it too. Maybe you guys have a better way to explain it, but the negative voltage in a DC circuit, that's what's going on there. So I hope that helps.